Hello everyone. We are in for a treat today. We're going to do some audio sweetening on a on an actual project here. This is uh, something I did a little while ago and I decided to uh, do a little tutorial on on sweetening audio within Resolve and the Fairlight tab. First off, big huge thank you to LA36 for letting me do this on a project I did for them. Amazing clients couldn't ask for anything uh, anyone better to work with. Let's get on into it, but before that, LA Art Zone this is the show that, that we're going to be basing this off of. Go to their website. Take a look at this episode. This episode is called uh, Alexander McQueen. So this is kind of what what we're going to take a look at. Let's just play this, this intro and you guys can kind of get a feel for what the project is. Welcome to Lee Alexander McQueen, Mind Mythos Muse at Los Angeles County Museum of Art. It's very special. So that's kind of just the gist. This is not sweet audio. This is just raw tracks uh, being laid in and stuff. Now let's uh, take a little look at what we have here. So in this open, We've got the music, another music track that's just ducked down, and this is our first bite. So all my bites, I go through, and what you know, once I bring them into the edit, I can see that the audio levels are really, really low. So the first thing I do is I just gain up audio levels so nothing is peaking. So this would be a good level. Let me do this. That would be kind of boarding on bad. You know, if we went twenty, that would be really bad. What I try to do is just get my get my levels nice and hot on the waveforms, and you know, obviously using your ears too. So if I solo this track, Alexander McQueen, Mind Mythos Muse at Los Angeles County Museum. So I'm looking at these meters. I'm not pegging it at zero quite yet. That's going to be in my my last gain staging of the master bus. That is why I'm pinging zero or hitting minus twelve, whatever my master output is going to be for this uh, for this client. Uh, everything's going to be pinged to, to zero. So this gal, I went through her, all these. I went ahead and so I just kind of like bring their audio levels up, and you can see that like you know some of them the levels are kind of quieter, some of them are louder. We'll get into that on how I smooth that all out later on in the mix here. I do that across the board on all of my dialogue. And then in my music, I'm just going ahead and cutting the music up and adjusting levels. So music, I like to usually hit about minus two on my volumes. So then when it's hitting the master output fader, it's hitting about minus two also. So that's about what that's doing. Coming in and dropping into the first bite. It's very special that we have this. I hit a fade going down to minus 22. So I'm dropping it down quite a ways. With this show, the music is important. I want to have that continuous beat because that's why I cut to. I cut to the beat. With other interview shows, the clients like to have the music like drowned. So like down to minus 28 or so, like you can barely even hear the music. So that's explaining kind of my audio levels and stuff. Now let's go ahead and jump on in the Fairlight tab. And we're going to use all the native plugins here. So what I like to do is I like to create presets. So my preset here is if I jump on in here, global track, I've got dialogue. So I just slap the dialogue onto both of my people. And what that does is that brings me an EQ with the low end rolled off and everything's flat. And it brings me in a compressor with the makeup gain at three, the threshold is preset for the limiter, and the compressor is also set with a ratio and a nice threshold. That's why I like to do, but we are not gonna do that. So we're gonna undo that. Let's start from scratch here. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is EQ people. So kind of bringing it back to Clarissa. Clarissa, Clarissa, Clarissa. I don't, I'm not sure how to say that name, but we're gonna do that. So here's my tracks. I like to name all my tracks so I can easily come on over to the mixer and pull it on up. So there's Clarissa. I pull up that EQ. I'm gonna turn on the first band, ramp this up to about 80 or so. 
And that's just going to be my low roll off. Any dialogue, I just want to roll off the low end because that's going to be sent out to someone's sub. So if someone at home is watching this program, if you've ever sat at home watching a program and you have a sub and you know the full five one surround or something, and you're wondering why your sub is just totally like rumbling the whole time, is because someone didn't roll off the low end usually of the dialogue track, and it's just anything that's being spoken about. Is just, blah, 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 blah. that is being that information is being sent down to the sub, so we want to roll that off. Next thing I do is I turn on my high pass. I'm just going to bump up my high pass. So bring it back to about six k or so. What we're going to do is just listen to the audio and see what we're doing here. So I'm going to bring up my highs. I'm going to find a nice sweet spot in the highs. I'm going to find the nice sweet spot in the actual vocal range, which is about 250 40 hertz. And then we're going to sweep around in the mid range and kind of notch out something that just doesn't sound right. That's what I do. I just kind of move my sliders around, listening, using my ears to actually find the bad things and the good things that I want to emphasize. So let's take a listen and we'll do that. It's very special that we have this exhibition at last. So I'm pumping up the highs. A, a permanent collection. This one I want to pop on to a, a large gift from Regina J. Dreyfus, a notch, which made it possible a bell shape and kind of give that a little bit of, of little stuff. Work. Contextualized so this is overemphasized. With objects solely that sounds bad. Permanent collection. That sounds good. Role in McQueen's Bring it on down. Career. Let's they find the low end. So many things. We're going to make this a bell also. of design as his medium, as fashion as his medium. And he created artwork in order to understand. You can hear right in here. That's kind of the thick of her voice. By artists, as illustrated throughout Just the bump that up a little bit. Let's bring this back a bit. Now let's sweep around for those mids, something that sounds kind of nasty. It's very special that we have this exhibition at LACMA because we're celebrating a... So a that kind of sounds collection. nasty in there. And the acquisition of... This sounds muddy in here to me. Trucker, so I'm going to notch this down a little bit. Such numerous examples of... This one? McQueen's work. Let's find that. Within art history, bring that on down. We're going to bring up the Q. That makes it so it's super, art super thin. In McQueen's More pointed. They more focused so many things so it's going to focus he that right there thought of so that kind of eqs in that gal so that's the first step we do eq second step compression open up the compressor and turn on the compressor and the threshold is going to be when it starts activating the ratio is how much it's doing the attack is how fast it starts hold is if it's going to hold on to that compression the release is how fast it's going to be releasing and not compressing so i mostly pop my my attack to the fastest my release i can just go to the slowest or we can just leave it here that's fine the hold i don't need to hold it because i'm working with dialogue if i wanted to hold that it would be something more like with a, like a kick drum or a tom or something if i wanted to get that sustained to kind of hold off and just kind of trail out further we're not doing that here it's very special that we have this so these levels this is how much this blue here is how much it's actually being attenuated. Exhibition at LACMA because we're celebrating a our permanent collection. And the so that'd be totally slamming it. You can hear that it just totally takes the life out of it. This is not doing anything. So I would actually move it to the right, bring it on back, art history, start getting it so it's just compressing two or three dB. That that's about. This is the 10 dB, so this is actually going five or six dB at the peaks. That is fine with me because. I'm okay with that right there. The other thing I want to do is, so the compression is going to be taking some of the life out of this. Bringing in the makeup gain kind of brings the levels up. One way of bringing your levels up. So I mixed to about, for watching the, the levels here. It's very special that we I'm have mixing these levels pretty low right now. Because we're you know, celebrating. They're going kind of low. So this is one way that I can make up that gain. So I'll bring it into about three. Our permanent collection. That gets our levels a little bit higher. Everything is just stepping things on. Levels of more gain, levels of EQ. Everything is just small increments. You don't want to do big paintbrush strokes. You want to do small little increments of EQing and gaining. So that's sounding good. Another thing I want to do to be able to raise the level up is activate this limiter. 
Parker, which made it possible to have such new. This is not doing anything if we're looking at our gains here or our levels there. Within art history, there it's starting to attenuate. From Blackmas permanent collection. So something like that. Strong role in McQueen's designs and career. They informed so many things. He himself. And the attack wanted to be fast. The release, a little slower, just kind of give it some life. So that's kind of brought up our levels even further. The world, such numerous examples of Lee Alexander. Okay, so that's that. That's that gal. She's all EQ'd and compressed. Let's jump onto McCullough's uh, VO here. So let's open up that EQ. We're going to turn on these bands. We're going to pop that onto high pass. We'll bring this on up to 80 or so. Let's turn these onto the bells. Here we go. So let's take a listen to her. We'll just solo her on up. On this platform, we have three looks from Alexander McQueen's Deliverance Collection. So we're bringing up the highs and finding a nice little sweet spot with her highs there. The Deliverance Collection is a unique collection That's in McQueen's oeuvre. That's got some nice juice to it. Let's focus on the low end and then go on into the mids. Half dance performance that he put on in a dance hall in Paris. That the sounds good in there. The choreographer Michael Clark was the one who sounds choreographed Sounds muddy in there, so let's go here. As you can see up here, that we have mud. a clip from the 1969 film. They Bring out horses, the mud a little they? bit. Starring Jane Fonda, which portrays a dance marathon during Bring the Bring this in just a little bit, just so to thicken her, vo her vocal up just a little bit. Listen to the difference here. I'm going to undo that. McQueen sort of took this idea of a dance marathon and a competition and kind of a, a that just kind of got a little bit more of the low end of natural low end of her voice. I know you don't normally think of like a female having a low voice, but females and males, we both have a low end characteristic to our voice. And to get a good vocal sound, you want to focus on that low end part of a female's voice also. Struggle and a dance to the death, essentially. Let's look, listen to and that nasal. Made it act as sort of an allegory for the experience. So there's kind of like the, the noise in the room. So if you're focusing on wanting to pull some of the noise of the room out, you can pull some of that out. I'm not necessarily in this project too concerned about the, the room noise. Um, he looks from Alexander more McQueen's about her deliverance nasal. collection. The deliverance collection She's got this annoying nasal, not being critical of her, just there's this nasalness to the voice. I want to pull that out right now. Unique collection in McQueen's oeuvre. There we go. Because it was a fully Without. choreographed dance performance that he put on. With. Okay. Now let's focus on her compression. In a dance hall in Paris. Turn on the a compressor. Bring Michael that on down Clark a little bit. The one who choreographed Bring the these on up. As you can see up here. That's probably good. If you didn't notice on the other one, I left the threat, the ratio at the same spot of two. That's fine. Usually when I'm just doing these dialogue or something, I'm just wanting to leave the, the ratio alone at two. Just kind of affect the the voice a little bit if you pop it up in the here like 20 that's technically limiting so you could just use the compressor as a limiter that way too but i'll usually just leave around two you can support me today by listening to my music via the links below become a sponsor today message me via the facebook link below to find out more film, let's bring up the output Starring Jane Fonda, which portrays a dance marathon during the Great Depression. So McQueen sort of took this idea of a dance marathon and a competition and kind of a, a struggle. So I'm watching this attenuation. I'm listening to, the, to her vocal and I'm just sweeping around on the threshold. The attack we can pull down, the, the release will pop that up just a little bit too, just because I like to touch knobs. Oh, and a dance to the death, essentially. And Okay, so that sounds good. Okay, so there's our EQ and compression. Another thing that we can do, let's back on up to this gal. We can pop in an insert. So an insert is just going to be affecting the whole signal along with this compressor and this EQ. I like to throw another compressor, compressor into the insert chain just to kind of get a little bit more thickness to the vocal. So normally I've got the Waves plugins, so I would normally do a CLA-2A. And that would actually be a little nice compression to pop on there. I'll just pop, pull this on up. And you can kind of hear what things are doing. So this is off. And the acquisition of a, a large gift. From That's Virginia on. Jay so Parker, it kind of gains things up nicely. Bring it down just a skosh. Examples. That kind of gives the uh, the vocal like a nice big wide 
you know, thickness to the vocal. That's what I would normally do. But since we are doing this all native, I'm going to remove that and let's do it in the native way. So what we could do is go ahead and do a Fairlight effects and do the vocal channel, the dialogue processor, or we can go down the dynamics and draw, drop on a limiter or multi-band compression. That's kind of going a little too far for just a dialogue track. Soft clipper. Um, Let's see what what we have in the limiter. Just kind of walk through that. Uh, Lee Alexander McQueen's work, contextualized within art history. Bring in our threshold. Solely from I don't like this limiter. Well, actually, a strong role in McQueen's designs and career. So we could kind of bring that on in. Things he himself thought of design. To me, it's just bringing in the the background. I'm not really a big fan of, fan of the sound of this. Designs and career, they inform. So what I did is I brought the level on up into the compressor. That's what this input is doing, is bringing the level louder into it. The threshold is where it's going to be start activating and actually, you know, kind of clipping it and not clipping it in a bad way, but just stopping the sound. So if you bring this all the way to zero, then it's not stopping it. And so many things. But if I bring it on down to negative one, that's going to be stopping it at a negative one dB on your VU meters. That's one way of doing it. I'm not a big fan of that one either. I think I would just drop, drop on the vocal, turn off the EQ, pop another layer of compression onto there. Medium. And he created artwork in order to understand the world and was heavily influenced by artists as illustrated throughout the exhibition. Let's bring this on back. Very special that we have this exhibition at LACMA because we're and just listening. So right in here, I'm hearing that her voice gets thicker, and the background noise is not getting too crazy. Listen when I gain this on up, you'll hear that background noise just start going kind of crazy. A, our permanent collection and the acquisition of a, a large gift from Regina J. Drucker, which made it possible to have such numerous examples of Lee Alexander McQueen's work. I'm hearing the background noise just totally going crazy once I really gain that up. But I do like the sound of this compressor just on there kind of overall. So that kind of brings my levels up a little bit further. History. Turn this off. With objects solely from Blackness Permanent. Turn it on. Art played a strong role in McQueen's It's kind of gaining things, thickening things up a little bit more. Just another step on it. And then what we can do is if I hold down Option... I can copy this on over to the other track. So that's those two. That's all the dialogue we have. This, these music tracks, I'm just going to leave them alone since the music already comes to you compressed, limited, mastered, and everything. All you got to do is focus on the levels. You know, music is pretty easy. So for kind of like watching this, you can see this is gained down. It pops on up to a nice swell. You can hear and look at the levels. Fully influenced by artists as illustrated throughout the exhibition. On this platform, we have... So, yeah, kind of gains up and stuff. Sounds sounds nice. Sounds good. This one, same, too. Took those feelings and made them into a beautiful kind of performance piece. In thinking about McQueen's work... Yeah, so that sounds good. Okay, so now let's get on to the master bus, and this is kind of where the, uh, the magic is happening. So these are the levels that I usually watch. There are these levels, and this is what I should technically be watching. Designs with artwork that is referencing either similar themes or... Same levels. It's just this is a loudness meter, so it's going to be like what Netflix really focuses on. So our master bus, let's go ahead and click on the plus, and let's go to channel... And we can do, see what dialogue processor has. There's a, Things are really limited here. I like to just kind of get something to kind of give things a nice little high end um, and excite things. Kind of like, like an oral exciter or something. So let's focus on that. Let's turn all these guys off and just focus on that there. Really was inspired by and to visually illustrate that his work was not made in a vacuum, but was in fact responding to the world through these varied and incredible sources of inspiration. It's kind of sprinkling some, you know, some some ear candy onto it. That exciter kind of is is giving us like a nice little high end to things. Let's go ahead and go to dynamics, Fairlight. Let's pop on a limiter. You can see here. So we're going to set our limiter to about minus five. 
So if I get there, there we go. And the level, I'm just going to push on up into it. So some muse. But we do include music because McQueen, to him, all kinds of art were important. He said that constantly, and you can see it in his clothing. So that's sounding good. So that's kind of getting our, our levels, right? All of a sudden, things got super thick and stuff. Working in fashion. As so there's not show. on? Under the public eye always has an audience watching you and the pressures of that feeling. So that limiter is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. This is quite a bit of gain, the 8 dBs. I would... uh. You know, I might even just kind of split that in half. And the competition within the industry. And he took those feelings and made them into a beautiful kind of... Bring this down to about 1.5 or so. Two. Yeah, that's fine. In thinking about McQueen's work, he referenced... Pressing into it a little bit. Adding another limiter. To complete that lift. This one we're going to pop on the minus five. There's hundreds of things in every collection. What we tried to do in this exhibition is to contextualize his designs. So there we go. Artwork that. So we have one focusing on, you know, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, of that top part of the sound and bringing it up into the, into the zero, zero dB mix. Referencing either similar themes or seeing its levels that he continually. It's right here. This one's completing that lift bringing us all the way up into there. So it's up to you if you feel like doing the two or one. With something like this, the one would be fine. You know, that that's a quick and easy way. Doing music mixing, I'd probably like throw on like three or four limiters and really start, you know, just kind of having things just shave a little bit and bump up things a little bit. It's a little bit uh, more natural to the ear then. So just taking another little listen to the tail end of this just to make sure everything's sounding good. In this exhibition, and we hope that's something that people can take away. And that's how I would approach the a project like this. You know, a couple of different dialogue tracks, music, no sound effects in this, obviously. But, you know, sound effects mixing is kind of, I guess, different. Because, you know, some of the sound effects you want to just pre predominate in a mix, and some you want to be as a background element. Um, if I'm doing a car spot and I need explosions, they're going to be the predominant thing. <laughs> or if I'm doing, um, you know, a glitch spot, it's going to be a predominant element within that mix. So I would I would uh, I would mix it accordingly to something like that. That's kind of my uh, my two cents on this on on mixing some sound in uh, in Fairlight and Resolve. It's the same principles doing it in Pro Tools, doing it in in Reason, um, Logic. You know, even Audition. I've done some radio stuff in in Audition, and it's it's all the same things. I would really recommend jumping on up once you you know get comfortable with mixing and stuff. Jump on up into uh, into these Waves plugins and stuff. There's some great stuff. I would utilize these NLS buses and stuff on my master bus. And then, um, you know, another great, great processor is the L1 limiter. You know, I can't go wrong with that. And we'll see you next Wednesday, another uh, tutorial. You guys take care. <laughs>